we are going to discuss about the next topic that is displacement reaction. It's a topic comes under the chapter called as chemical reactions and equations. The first, the first one was uh, combustion reaction. Second one was decomposition reaction third one is displacement reaction this displacement reaction it is also called as single replacement reaction now we will go through this definition of displacement reaction Displacement reaction, in this reaction actually, a highly reactive element displaces the least reactive element from its compound. I repeat, a highly reactive element displaces the least reactive element from its compound. For example, how it happens? Which is that highly reactive element? Which is that least reactive element? We will go through first those all things. If you are in textbook, it is there in the page number 45. Highly reactive element. Usually, the potassium is considered as highly reactive element as per the syllabus. Potassium. After potassium, the next highly reactive element is sodium. Potassium, sodium, calcium, magnesium and aluminium. These are the five elements which are considered as highly reactive elements. Five elements potassium, sodium, calcium, magnesium and aluminium. These are considered as top five highly reactive elements as per the syllabus. Apart from that, these are considered top reactive elements. Next is medium reactive elements. Zinc. Zinc is a medium reactive element. Iron. Iron is a medium reactive element. At last, the least reactive element. One of the non metal is also present in this reactivity series. Hydrogen. Hydrogen is more reactive compared to copper actually. Hydrogen, copper, silver and gold. Yes, potassium, cal sodium, calcium, magnesium and aluminium highly reactive. Zinc lead and uh, iron medium reactive. Hydrogen, copper, the last two more are there, silver and gold. These are considered as least reactive elements. Now, what happens actually? If you go through the potassium, potassium is able to displace all the elements from its compound. I repeat, potassium is able to displace all the elements from their compounds because potassium is highly reactive element. Sodium is, after potassium, Next, second one is sodium. Sodium is able to displace all the elements which are below to next to it. Calcium, magnesium, aluminium, zinc, iron, iron. It is able to displace all the elements except potassium because potassium is more reactive compared to the sodium. I think so. Got the idea now. The last one is gold. Gold is able to get pure form in the nature but 
it is not able to displace any of the element because all are highly reactive compared to it because gold is considered as least reactive element next we will go for the example of it iron is reacting with the copper sulfate solution iron is reacting with the copper sulfate solution to form iron sulfate and copper iron is reacting with the copper sulfate solution to form iron sulfate and copper where iron is a highly reactive element compared to copper because copper is a least reactive element iron is a highly reactive element in both of them in both of them automatically iron displaces the copper and iron form iron sulfate and copper is separated it is called as a displacement reaction a highly reactive element displaces the least reactive element from its compound one more example and vice versa what happens when copper is reacting with the iron sulfate solution when the copper is reacting with the iron sulfate solution it becomes no reaction actually because copper is least reactive compared to iron iron so there won't be any reaction no reaction takes place between iron sulfate and copper because copper is least reactive compared to the iron there is no displacement and there is no reaction at all as it is called as displacement reaction the fourth type of reaction is double displacement reaction double displacement reaction it is also called as double replacement reaction double displacement reaction or double replacement reaction what happens here in this reaction inter exchange of ions will take place to form two new compounds i repeat in this reaction inter exchange of ions will take place to form two new compounds for example example ab is reacting with this cd ab is a compound which is reacting with the cd we will see that what are those ions in the ab and cd compounds usually ionic compounds will be having two elements or two ions one will be cation one more will be anion and this compound ab a is cation and b is anion and the cd also first will be cation next will be anion now what happens there will be inter exchange of ions what happens a react with d and c react with b and the reaction is ad plus cb
here interaction of ions before the reaction it was ab after reaction it is ad before the reaction it was cd after the reaction it is now cb interaction of ions and two new chemicals have been formed we'll take an example because it is also a part of uh, experiment for your syllabus that is uh, double displacement reaction and the experiment purpose we are having barium chloride is reacting with the sodium sulfate i repeat barium chloride is reacting with the sodium sulfate solution we we'll see that what will the result barium chloride is reacting with the sodium sulfate solution to form to form barium sulfate and sodium chloride now barium sulfate barium will react with the sulfate and sodium is reacting with the chlorine now sodium chloride here both the sodium as well as chloride both are in two to form so that it is 2 nacl 2 nacl this here is interaction of ions it was a sodium sulfate was there it has become sodium chloride it was barium chloride it has become barium sulfate and barium sulfate will be precipitated it forms like a buffer like solution which which will settle down in the beaker and the sodium chloride will be a crystal clear solution it will be floating on the upper part so the reaction is also called as precipitation reaction i repeat the reaction is also called as precipitation reaction apart from that we are having one more reaction under this it is called as a neutralization reaction neutralization reaction where acid is reacting with the base to form salt and water i repeat acid is reacting with the base to form salt and water acid it may be strong acid hydrochloric acid strong base sodium hydroxide it forms a neutral salt it forms a neutral salt it is sodium chloride as well as water acid base salt water the process is called as neutralization even we will discuss the same topic in the chapter number 2 in the acids bases and salts now it is the fourth reaction double displacement reaction now we have completed the four reactions the first reaction is combination reaction second one decomposition reaction third one displacement reaction fourth one double displacement reaction these all are the basic form of the reactions now we'll go for the applied form of the reactions which are those oxidation as well as reduction oxidation reduction because oxidation we may heard the word called as uh, oxidation of food applying real process is applied in our body oxidation of food so we'll discuss about the next topic oxidation reduction and redox reaction the first one is oxidation what is oxidation for a simple definition is here addition of oxygen or removal of hydrogen i repeat addition of oxygen or removal of hydrogen it is called as oxidation see 
addition of oxygen for any chemical it becomes oxidized if hydrogen has been removed from a chemical it is called as oxidized hydrogen is removed from a chemical oxidized example the most basic equation magnesium is reacting with the oxygen to form magnesium oxide or copper is reacting with the oxygen to form copper oxide in this both the reaction what is happening actually oxygen is added for those elements i'll take about the first example oxygen is added to the magnesium hence magnesium is oxidized as magnesium oxide and second one oxygen is added to the copper hence copper is oxidized as copper oxide it is about a second reaction Yes, it is about the oxidation. Second, we'll go for the reduction reaction. Reduction is called as the vice versa of oxidation. It is called as the vice versa of oxidation. What is the vice versa? Addition of hydrogen or removal of oxygen. reverse of it in the oxidation will take place addition of oxygen removal of hydrogen but in reduction addition of hydrogen or removal of oxygen addition of hydrogen or removal of oxygen will add the hydrogen now with the sodium with the lithium or with any other element generally we'll go with the sodium sodium is reacting with the hydrogen to form sodium hydride so sodium hydrogen is added to the sodium now sodium is reduced to the sodium hydride because addition of hydrogen has been taken place here so it is considered as reduction addition of hydrogen is considered as reduction now we will go through the redox reaction which is having reduction as well as oxidation redox reaction here the two words are there red it indicates reduction ox indicates oxidation in this reaction both oxidation as well as reduction takes place simultaneously i repeat in this redox reaction both oxidation as well as reduction takes place simultaneously in a single chemical reaction for example copper oxide copper oxide is reacting with the hydrogen copper oxide is reacting with the hydrogen to form copper and water what is happening here actually here copper oxide was there before the reaction after the reaction the copper is there before reaction 
कॉपर ऑक्साइड आफ्टर रिएक्शन कॉपर बिफोर द रिएक्शन हाइड्रोजन वॉज देयर आफ्टर द रिएक्शन वाटर इज देर नो बिफोर द रिएक्शन वॉज ओनली हाइड्रोजन आफ्टर रिएक्शन इट इज वाटर वॉट हैपन एडिशन ऑफ ऑक्सीजन फॉर द हाइड्रोजन एडिशन ऑफ ऑक्सीजन फॉर द हाइड्रोजन एडिशन ऑफ ऑक्सीजन इज नथिंग बट ऑक्सीडेशन द फर्स्ट वन हेयर कॉपर ऑक्साइड इज बिकमिंग कॉपर कॉपर ऑक्साइड टू दी कॉपर ऑक्सीजन हैज बीन रिमूव रिमूव ऑफ ऑक्सीजन इज रिडक्शन both oxidation as well as reduction both will takes simultaneously in a single chemical reaction it is called as redox reaction the next one actually what will be the next one next one will be the repetition of oxidation and reduction in one more manner actually oxidation reduction as per the addition and removal of uh, oxygen and hydrogen is there one more is gaining and losing of electron is also there gaining and losing of electron maybe you are, all of you know about that by gaining electron by losing electron it will become cation anion you heard about it that will be repeated as a oxidation as well as reduction reaction first starts with the oxidation only oxidation a very short form leo loss of electron is called as oxidation i repeat loss of electron l is loss e is electron o is oxidation loss of electron is called as oxidation how it happens for which element happens sodium sodium is a metal whose atomic number is 11 and electronic configuration is 281 and all of us knows that every element loses or gains electron to become duplet or octet structure now to become octet structure for the sodium sodium is having 281 one electron is extra in it otherwise it is 28 is already so what happens this one electron will be removed or lost by the sodium when sodium loses one electron one electron no it becomes octet structure and sodium atom will become sodium ion now sodium atom is there it is having 10 electrons where is one more electron it is here one more electron is there it is of losing of electron sodium lost an electron so it is called as oxidation leo loss of electron is called as oxidation second one be will be reduction reaction it is a second form of definition now there was a loss of electron oxidation here gaining of electron reduction ger loss of electron oxidation gain of electron reduction gaining of electron which element will gain the electron usually 
non metals gain the electron and metals sodium was a metal sodium donates the electron sodium is a metal metals all the metals donate electron all the non metals receive the electron or share the electrons usually receiving is more because metals are more receiving of electrons are more so the sharing of electrons is also there it is a different type of uh, bonding is there we will discuss in the next chapters okay now here gaining of electron it is called as reduction chlorine chlorine is there its atomic number is 17 and its electron configuration is 287 chlorine outermost orbit is having 7 electrons if it get one more electron only one electron in its outermost orbit it becomes 288 as an octet structure chemical so it receives an electron it receives an electron to become chlorine atom to the chloride ion Yes, here gaining of electron. Chlorine has gained an electron to become reduction reaction reaction. Actually, this LeOGER loss of electron, gain of electron, oxidation and reduction. These are the part of class 11 and 12 losing and gaining of electron. Addition of electron, removal of, addition of oxygen, removal of hydrogen, oxidation, addition of hydrogen, removal of oxygen, reduction. These are the part of grade 10. Still, for the information, losing and gaining of electron is also taught in this topic now. Next one is oxidation in the real life. Apart from that, we are having corrosion and rancidity. It is the last part of the syllabus. Corrosion and rancidity. Corrosion. What is this corrosion? It is a very simple thing. Maybe we have seen everywhere in the in our life. The change of color of a copper when you pour the water in the copper material the change of iron metal from grey to the brown color these are nothing but corrosion only what is happening here the degradation of metals I am telling the definition of it the degradation of metals from the acids air or moisture it is called as uh, Corrosion. I repeat the degradation of metals with the help of air, water, or acid. It is called as corrosion. Or a simple way, if you talk about it, the oxidation of metals, it is called as a corrosion. And uh, this corrosion will create a lot of mess, especially it will reduce the strength of a material, the quality of a material. For example, if we use the low quality or the rusted iron bar for the construction of a building, it will collapse very fast because the quality of the metal has been reduced due to this water content, air or an acid. Every year, every part of the world, all the governments are facing the rusting of iron. As per the records, there are something like 50,000 crore rupees loss is there.
for the all the governments of the world due to the corrosion itself only the rusting of iron huge rusting is there even the the green part green layer formed in the copper material it is also creating a problem it may creates the water as a toxic material so only the green layer is also dangerous how to prevent this preventing is very easy very easy prevention of corrosion prevention of corrosion the first point is can okay, write all the points first is painting second one is greasing third one is oiling fourth one is coating painting greasing oiling and coating painting i think so usually you have seen that the benches which you are sitting those will be painted from different colors yes even the all the iron bars maximum wherever the iron is there those all have been painted next one is oiling oiling and greasing usually will do for the vehicles maybe the chains the chains will put the oil they will apply the grease for it because for a smooth running of the vehicle of that engine of the vehicle otherwise if it start to rust the chain may break and it may cause accidents so only the oiling and greasing is most needed for these metallic items apart from that we are having a coating process metals or non metals they will coat with the metals automatically for example alloying is there tinning is there using the tins galvanizing is there electroplating is there these are the four different process where we are using to prevent the corrosion in the coating we are getting alloying the coating of tin galvanizing and electroplating these are the different process by which we can prevent the metallic items by rust by corrosion the last part of the topic is rancidity a very simple definition where the oxidation of food and oil material is considered as rancidity in the process is called as rancid the food will be rancid it will be spoiled after certain time the smell the different odd smell will comes from the chemical it is nothing but a rancid and if we consume those materials it will creates a lot of problem for our body especially it leads to the health issues so don't consume these rancid products how to control or how to prevent these rancid materials prevention using gases in a chips packet i think so nitrogen gas will be used using gases for a chips pack so gases in the chips packet maybe the 
चिप्स पैकेट विल लुक्स वेरी बिगर वन हार्ड इट विल बी हैव हार्डली फाइव और टेन चिप्स विल बी देयर बट टू स्टोर फॉर सिक्स मंथ्स बिकॉज एवरी फूड प्रोडक्ट विच इज पैक्ड इन दी प्लास्टिक विल बी हैविंग ए हैविंग एन एक्सपायर डेट एवरी फूड मटेरियल बिफोर बाइंग एनी ऑफ द फूड मटेरियल यू हैव टू सी द एक्सपायरी डेट ऑफ ऑल दो फूड मटेरियल्स अदरवाइज इट क्रिएट्स ए मेस फॉर अस इट क्रिएट्स ए हेल्थ इशूज which we are to because we are paying money and we are getting health problems so only before buying any of the materials you should see compulsory expiry date of all those food materials or tablets also especially food materials here here they are adding the gases after certain days if the expiry date is there don't use these materials okay second one freezing freezing refrigeration a very common word refrigeration usually this is a summer season where our global got temperature will be almost uh, 40 plus degree will be there the food which has made in the early morning will be spoiled by evening only not evening below 10 hours the food will be spoiled very fast for that reasons you can keep these all materials in the fridge automatically these materials this food materials can be used for one or two days or so otherwise the food will be spoiled within a day by the end of the day the food will be become uh, different odd smell will be there and uh, or unpleasant smell we we'll call it as unpleasant smell and that food is not good for consumption okay next it is a fridge is there freezing is there your temperature is less automatically the food can be stored in a proper way even the milk product within 3 or 4 hours the milk will be spoiled here the milk also kept it under in a fridge all the food materials you can keep it in a fridge third one is vacuum packaging or vacuum packing remove of all the air materials for example take a plastic put the food materials remove all the oxygen and pack it yes vacuum packaging that food material will be stored for a long time it can be used and this vacuum packaging will keep the food fresh for longer time lot of the foods will be stored in this way only vacuum packaging is also a method for the prevention of rancidity apart from that what we can do it i think so they are using the those oily products to store those pickles and all those things additional amount of salt additional amount of oil will be added to those all the pickle products where the food should not that pickle should not spoil very very fast this is all about the preventive measures of uh, rancidity okay this is all about the the whole topic for your syllabus two more points are remain those are simple points one is endothermic reaction one more is exothermic reaction endo and exo endo before exo later on that is what i mean just it is how it becomes heat will comes later on after the reaction endothermic reaction heat is used to get the reaction for example calcium carbonate or limestone
if you heat calcium carbonate for 5 minutes, 10 minutes or half an hour at a temperature of 800 degrees Celsius, it forms calcium oxide and carbon dioxide. It is what happens heat is used to get the reaction it is called as endothermic reaction what is exothermic reaction heat is produced after the reaction we will have the food we will respire it when we respire now along with the respiration a hot air will come outside hot air is nothing but yes exothermic reaction heat is produced after the reaction it is considered means respiration is considered as exothermic reaction or you are having once again the same reaction what you have studied in the first reaction combustion reaction where calcium oxide is reacting with the water to form calcium hydroxide where the calcium hydroxide if it is kept in a beaker the outer part of the beaker will become hot it shows that heat is liberated heat is liberated from the reaction after the reaction so exothermic heat is used to get the reaction endothermic reaction okay thank you students this is the these all are the points of chapter number one chemical reactions and equations chemical reactions and equations and this topic is consists of five marks for your board exam especially the practical part of this topic is most important and the practical part is four reactions the first is combination reaction second is decomposition reaction third one is displacement reaction fourth one is double displacement reaction these are the four reactions even these are also for are for the practical purpose thank you to all of you